Finger licking good chicken. Finger licking good chicken. I'm gonna teach you how to make the KFC a la king bowl. We are gonna start off with chicken thighs. Ideally fillets, but since I don't have that in my local grocery, it's your lucky day because I'm gonna teach you how to debone it. You would want to use a sharp knife. Feel the chicken and then just make an incision parallel with the bone. Lift one end of the bone and then just start scraping down with the knife. Once the bone is clean, just cut the part of the chicken that is still holding the bone. Ah, oh, sh! I just cut myself, so please be careful. After removing the main bone, you would want to clear out the chicken of all remaining small bones and cartilage. Then just repeat the process with the others. As you can see, I am now wearing a glove because I wouldn't want my blood dripping all over the chicken. This is actually a pretty good reason to stop recording and just make the video some other time. But for the love of you guys, I will finish this video no matter what it takes. Plus, I'm pretty hyped because I was just watching The Last Dance, you know, Jordan mentality. After having a near-death experience deboning the chicken, you would want to season that with a generous amount of salt, pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, paprika, then just give that a good massage. We would also need some buttermilk. I know, I know, I know buttermilk is expensive and hard to find in the Philippines. That's why I will show you how to make your own. First, you will need warm milk, so just pour some in a bowl and just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds. Once the milk is warm, pour in a tablespoon of vinegar and just watch it curdle. Some say it's science, but I call it magic. Congratulations, you just made buttermilk, you little chef you. Pour that over your chicken, cover it up, and then let that marinate for ideally overnight. But if you don't have the time, 8 hours is gonna be good enough. But it's not gonna be that good though. But it's still gonna be good. But it's not gonna be that good. But it's still gonna be good. But not that good though. It has been 24 hours, but before I pull out the chicken from the fridge, I'm gonna be prepping up the stuff I'm gonna need. This is what the French call the mirepoix. Consists of what they call the Holy Trinity, which is the carrot, onion, and celery. The Filipino's version of this is called the gisa, which commonly consists of garlic and onion. I would best describe these as flavor starters, mostly for sauces. Keep in mind that I'm only cooking for one, so I'm just using small quantities. We will also use a can of whole kernel corn, kernel corn, drained, and then just set that aside. For the breading, we will use 50-50 cornstarch and flour, a pinch of salt, sorry for my hand movements, ladies, pepper, a touch of dried oregano, pinch of paprika, and lastly, half a teaspoon of curry powder. Mix that well, dredge the chicken in it, making sure full surface is covered. Heat up your oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then just drop your chicken in. Flip them once or twice to maintain even cooking. While the chicken is cooking, we can also work with our buttered corn. Heat up a pan. Pour your corn in, add some butter, season with salt, pepper, and some mixed herbs. Then just wait for the butter to melt. Once the butter is melted, give it a good mix and then just set it aside. At this point, I'm just showing off. Once the chicken is golden brown or reaches the internal temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit, it is now ready so take them out and place them on a cooling rack. Keep in mind that it's gonna be a bit darker because of the curry powder. We are now at the final stretch and we'll be making the sauce. Using the pan I used for the corn for no particular reason other than being too lazy to wash pans, melt some butter. Saute your mirepoix until aromatic and add in a chicken cube. And since I'm only making a small portion, I'm only gonna use half a cube. Then just wait for it to dissolve. Add flour and stir until it becomes a paste. Congratulations, you just learned how to make a roux, you little chef you. Then add water. I recommend pouring half a cup at a time, just to make sure you don't use too much. Let that cook until it becomes a thick sauce and then just finish it with cream. Season that with salt and pepper and then just give it a final taste. A bowl of rice of course, and you know the rest. It's over. 
This is Maxi from Maximum Flavor. Thank you once again for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, uh, or not. Do whatever you want. Bye.